hurting your credibility. That and you seem rather distraught. <laughs> my my apologize apologies, Your Honor. It must have been a shock to of finding the body. Very, very well. Let's hear your testimony once more. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. On her forehead. There was a table clock on the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Um... No! This guy's cracking, dude. Yeah, but he said he saw it with his eyes. I'm here and alive. I was playing Risk Rain. Ah. We were playing Risk Rain and it actually got really intense. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submit it. It is a statue. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony is correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. Knew the victim. Went into the apartment. Welcome back, Prometheus. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Your toupee almost fell off too. Oh yeah, prove it. Prove I went in there. Fingerprints! No. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon just spoke as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. But what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? You just look at the witness's just look at the witness's face. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I that that day I I never. Look, I the clock. I heard no. So I mean, not I saw it. Toupee. Fuck you. What the fuck? <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. 
I hate you. It was him. I tell you, I saw him. He he killed her and he should burn. Burn. Give him death. Damn. Order. Order in the court, I say. Your honor. A, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright! Your honor. Yeah. What do you need? Hmm? What's up? What do you need? Huh? You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is writing on this. <sighs> I better think it through carefully. Bitch. Yes, your honor. The sound Mr. Sawat heard was definitely this clock. The fact is clear. If you simply examine the clock's battery, ask the neighbors, try sounding the clock. I say try sounding it. I say try sounding it because you always see it in the movies. It'll like try sounding it. And it's like <laughs> he killed her. Here, I'll, I'll let you see your options. I say we do this one. This one right here. I say we do that one. God, I have stubby fingers on this. This one. This one. Not this one. No. Don't look at these ones. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. Don't look at don't look at the those ones. Sounding? Oh, I do it too. <laughs> Sounding. Yeah, you know when you stick the rod in your penis and you go thing. Let's sound the clock now. Here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? Fucking. Give me the clock. I ask the court to listen very carefully. Beep. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. May I have the cock? Wow. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely, this is. Uh, <laughs> yep. Precisely, the discrepancy between Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. We would love to have a cock. Give it. The cock is so powerful. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I did it. You forgot one thing. Uh-oh. What's he talking about? While it may seem like the clock is running at three hours slow, it proves nothing. <laughs> How did I know it was three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you can't have a case. He's right. How am I going to prove that? Well, maybe, like... Maybe the reason that it's slow is because of what happened on the day, as in the sense that... Um... Probably because, like... How do I say it? Um... And, like, maybe the blackout, it happened way earlier, and then the clock, like, got out of sync. I don't know. I'm being stupid. I don't know, cause, are no. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> I'm being stupid. It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Exclamation point. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, 
This ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sawit. You are a criminal. Sir, um, judge, he is the criminal? That's fact. I think it's out for me, but I haven't even worried about it. It's probably because, um... It's probably because this is the game itself is running in 60 FPS, but stream is catching it in uh, 60. No, it's capturing it in 30, but the game is in 60, so that's probably why it's all fucked up. But um, it's probably like not very big difference, is it? Here, oh, uh, I'll do this and we can test. Uh, let's see, where is it? Follow goal. Off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. Is it that bad? Is it, like... Is it super bad? It's probably just the game. I think it's probably just the game, but... Off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. It is off now. It is on now. It's off, on, off, on. You lawyers... What you lawyers all are all slime. It's fucked up. Grr, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. It's just the game. That's what I thought. Not so fast, Mr. Sawit! I mean, Chief! Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. It's not not like this. Think. But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Hey, you can. Don't be a bitch. It's all good. Yeah, it's just the game then. That and this camera's really slow. Da 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 I don't have a camera that goes directly into my computer. I mean, I do. I have one right here, but I can't use green screen on it. Maybe that's a good Christmas present. I don't know. That's maybe not because I only have so many ports on my um computer. Nobody can prove that. Well, shit. Um, well, yeah. The fuck is wrong with you, dumb shit? Well, that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure, it, figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right? Right, right? Can you think of a reason to why the clock would be three hours? Yeah, I already had a fucking reason, but it was probably not correct. Wait, maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Well, let's check it out! Interesting. The statue is, it's rather heavy. Passport, not important. Uh, Maybe because it was from Paris and it had a different time. So like, maybe she got it from Paris and uh, time is obviously different in Paris. Maybe, is there a three ever hours difference in Paris? There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words. Let's see you pulled this one off. Bam. 